Hi, I'm Simon T. Billy, and I'm so happy to be joining with you just for a few moments to share with you a leadership tip. One of the things I learned a long time ago is you have to release me to be right. A few years ago, I was looking to get into a business deal, and I had done my due diligence and felt that the partners that were going to invest my company had the right intention, and in fact, they decided that there was a person that they wanted to add to the mix that they felt would be good for a team. So I said, absolutely, let's go with it. And my wife said to me, she says, why do you go out to dinner with them? I'd love to get to know them and just hear a little bit more about their story and their background. So we set up a dinner time and we went and sat dinner, had a great conversation. And on the way home, my wife said to me, she said, you know, they seem like they're great people, but I don't know if they're great for us. There's just something about them that that's not right. And it's a little off. And I said, oh, listen, I've done the due diligence. Everything is going to be fine. And being the leader, I had the need to be right. Well, sure enough, we had to end up ending and severing that relationship, giving them their money back, getting my attorney involved, because the person who we had brought on was not necessarily the best person and the best fit for us. And we had to pay for that um, mistake. So sure enough, if I would have just paid attention or at least listened to my wife share with me the insight about what she sent us intuitively, it would have saved us a lot of time and certainly a lot of money. So I believe real leadership and the leadership shift that I'm gonna share with you is releasing the need to be right. I'm Simon T. Daly, and I look forward to joining you soon.